I am Jody Nislowski and I've been working with County Land and Title for the last 11 years and I am a closing agent um, that works with sales and refinance and construction. On the day of closing, um, you can anticipate a closing lasting anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Um, typically, if it, it, their lender is involved, it um, can take about 45 minutes. But if it's more of a cash transaction, it can last only about 20 minutes. It's usually pretty quick. Um, you can expect to see your lender there. You can expect to see realtors there. And of course, the buyer, seller, and me as your agent. After closing, if the buyer gets married, they can add their spouse to title by simply contacting the closing company and uh, talking to um, the secretary to do a quick claim deed. The quick claim deed will add both parties to the title. Um, in the state of Wisconsin though, um, whenever a party is married, if they ever go to sell the transaction or the property, both parties will need to be present to do the sale. When a judgment comes up on title against the buyer, sometimes we have the situation where that particular judgment is not our buyer. So then prior to closing or at the closing table, we'll have a judgment affidavit signed to remove that judgment from the title commitment and title policy. If for some reason that judgment is the buyer, we can do one of two things. We can remove it from our commitment um, in regards to helping the lender, or if it's a tax lien, we will actually have to take care of it at the closing table. If a judgment comes up against the seller on the title, title commitment, the same thing kind of applies where we will have a judgment affidavit if the, the seller's judgment is not them. But if any judgment does come up against the seller that is our seller, then we will need to take care of it. Even if it has to do with a um, medical lien, if it has to do with a tax lien, or if it has to do with any sort of um, credit card lien as well, we need to take care of prior to closing. When it comes to the definition of what a lien is, what a lien is is anything that is docketed at the clerk of courts. If you currently have a student loan or a car loan, as long as you're making appropriate payments on that and the company or the creditor has not um, recorded a, a judgment lien against you, you do not have to worry about those items. But anything that has been docketed in the clerk of courts, those items will need to be taken care of to close a transaction. For a refinance transaction, the lender will hire the title company to, to perform the closing transaction. The reason why we're involved is because we are offering or giving a loan policy insurance to that lender so that they are insured through that new mortgage that's being recorded. Um, the buyer will come into or the borrower will come into closing and we will sign the documents with them and we will disperse the transaction to protect the lender from any sort of insurance claim. Um, any sort of document that is recorded against the seller does have to be paid off at closing. So if you've got multiple mortgages on your current property that you are selling, they will need to be paid off. Sometimes people will ask if a HELOC or a home equity line of credit has to be paid off. That also does have to be paid off and closed in order to close a transaction. Sometimes it's asked what happens after closing as far as capital gains go and if the parties will need to pay them. We advise that you could talk to your uh, financial advisor or your accountant. So supply them your closing statement, which will show all of the, the proceeds and even the prorated and expenses that you pay for closing, and also supply them the 1099 that you do also receive at closing. I am Jody Nozlowski from County Land and Title. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me at the information supplied below.